Hi, I'm Mark from Peachtree Crafting and today I'm going to show you how I made this. I've got this lovely piece of olive wood from Neil at Olive Wood Turning and here I am just marking out a uh, heart shape onto a piece of cardboard to use as a template and if you're making a symmetrical shape it's sometimes useful only to make half of it then you can cut out that half and then as you'll see in a moment I'll draw it out onto the wood and I'll flip it over so it's uh, totally symmetrical on uh, both sides. At this point I decide just to round off the edges with something that's actually round just to make that uh, perfect and then it's time for the bandsaw to get this cut out and you'll see a couple of times that the, uh, the bandsaw binds a little bit um, I do need a new blade on this and uh, I have changed it since but uh, it's still cut through uh, quite easily Now I'm cutting down the uh, centre of the heart. I did mark out uh, a line that I was going to follow, but I sort of just went with it at this point. And now I'm cutting it in half, both sides in half, so that I've got two full um, joined hearts to make. I'm only working on the one at the moment and I will do the other one at a later date and there you go there's two and just need to decide which I'm going to work on now then it's time to get the Dremel out to shape it I'm using the uh, flexi shaft on this one makes it so much easier to hold when you're using it for such, such a long period and uh, you can twist it in all different ways I'm also using the easy click system so I can quickly change the uh, sanding drums if I need to I think I only changed it twice, maybe three times during this whole process. And I'm sort of just using the Dremel for shaping purposes, so it's not doing the final sanding. It's important to mention uh, when using any power tool, that can create dust in the air or whatever to make sure you're wearing a mask or a respirator you don't want that stuff um, getting in your lungs and causing you problems uh, later on in life so uh, mask there you go I'm changing the uh, sanding drum there really quick to do it with the uh, easy click uh, goggles or eye protection Probably only sanding this or shaping this probably for about half an hour. Uh, as you can see, this is sped up quite a bit, but it's really easy to do. There we are with them uh, rough shaped. Time to move on to the uh, final sanding, moving up through the grits. So I'm starting off here at uh, 80 grit and moving all the way up to uh, 240. Uh, just to get it fully fully sanded as smooth as I probably can once I've sanded to 240 uh, damp the wood slightly and that raises the grain and then you sand again at 240 and there we go I couldn't resist adding a little bit of um, mineral oil at this point just to see what the colours would be like I just wanted to see uh, what it would finally be like and uh, I was quite happy with uh, the look of it at this point It's amazing how a finish can just uh, bring out all the colours in the wood. It's amazing. Really like the way it looks. And now to mark out the uh, holes for the stitching. Going with eight holes here. Just 
opposite each other, randomly placed, no real pattern, and then just drill it all the way through. And I'll uh, go in from the other side just to tidy it up. Not really necessary because you can't see the other side, but I like to be as thorough as possible. Now that the holes have been drilled, it's uh, time to stitch it together. I've just taken uh, some inner copper wire from some electrical wire, and I'm just using that to stitch it together. I took out more than I needed, so I've got some spare for if I do it again. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just a matter of threading it through and uh, tightening, it, tightening it at the back. Off camera, I'd sanded down this uh, piece of wood. This is just going to be the backer board for the heart, and I'm just routing a chamfer on to all of the edges before I move on to the next step. So I decided to burn the backer board of the heart just to give a totally different contrasting colour to the heart itself, make it as uh, dark as possible. This is a process called Susushi Ban. You need to make sure you do all sides, otherwise the, um, the wood will cup. And again, make sure you uh, are being very careful when you're doing this. You've got something to put out the fire and um, the, the base that I'm doing this on is actually soaked through. So it's actually on some wet, wet wood there. And, but just go go at it slowly and it's important to uh, burn as deep down as possible uh, the Japanese use this process for actually sealing wood and uh, it adds some great character to the wood and uh, it looks really great in my opinion And then once you've burnt it within an inch of its life, it's time to brush off all that carbon and uh, charcoal and uh, reveal the wood underneath and uh, how it looks. It tends to give it a nice sheen and the wood's sealed. Do all the edges. And now time for final assembly. I'd cut out some uh, copper tubing just to add some space between the back of board and um, place it in there, push it down to make some dimples on the back and uh, screw in the screws and that's uh, job done so as you can see it was a pretty easy project to do Really enjoyed doing it. The uh, olive wood I used was fantastic. It smelled lovely when I was w working with it. So thanks to uh, Neil from Olive Wood Turning for that. I'll uh, definitely be getting some more uh, olive wood. I've already got some plans for some cracked wood next time and uh, injecting some resin into that. So we're we'll working one of those soon. I know Neil said he's going to drop me off some uh, olive wood shortly for that. Um, I also use my Dremel uh, a lot on this for the shaping of the heart. And uh, again, that was invaluable, especially using the flexi shaft for that and the easy click system for a quick change of the uh, sanding drums. And also a thanks to uh, Brandon Bespoke Oils for the uh, mineral oil and the wax. Uh, great and it really brings out the colour on, uh, on the heart. So all in all, yeah, any questions, drop them in the uh, comments below and I'll uh, see you next time.